several hours pass before the sea calms enough for us to make land on Kunoi Island. As with the last island, it's just my cameraman Mitch and I going ashore. Conditions are too dangerous to risk anyone else. This is it, man. This is, this is the edge of the world. Look at that. There is nothing more for thousands of miles in the North Atlantic. The cacophony of seabird calls bouncing off the cliff walls is a good sign. Fulmars and kittiwakes have strong populations here. Every species of seabird has a distinct call, but no one who is alive today knows what the great auk sounds like. So instead, I'm listening for any calls I don't recognize. That's a different noise. Yep. There definitely are some different sounds coming from over here. Whatever it is, it's not here amongst the rocks. There are lots of birds above me, but nothing close to shore. The fulmar has become a common bird here in the Faroe Islands. They're nesting on almost every cliff. The first settlers here called these birds foul ghouls. And as my cameraman Mitch approaches, he finds out why. This unique self-defense mechanism isn't just breakfast on rewind. The stinky stomach oil gums up the wings of any predator bird who approaches. Getting puked on by a flying ghoul is pretty awesome, but not why we've come to the edge of the planet. As we continue to trek around the cliff, I'm not seeing any sign of our great awk. Although this has been an amazing climb, it's time to move on to a better habitat. I began my search for the auk nine days ago, covering the low-lying coastline of Trolls Head and Kunoi Island. As we now approach Vidoy Island, it's clear each is more remote and difficult to access than the last. Luckily, Berger's cheerful about the weather today. This kind of weather, they call it for a feral sunshine. Feral sunshine. And it was fog and rain. Yeah, well, when this is good weather, I'd hate to see bad weather. As intimidating as volcanic rock makes it look, Vidoy is a very small island. You can walk all of it in three to four hours. Kari, let's go into that cave over there. Okay. Typically, auk don't nest in caves, but when you're under a tremendous amount of pressure, you tend to change your behavior. I've seen this giant sea cave here, and if there's anything that could potentially be considered nesting-like habitat in it, I want to explore it. Let me grab my light so we can see what's down here. Oh, that looks slick. We can try. It's risky, but certainly what we're here to do. Oh, that looks slippery. Even if a small group of birds decided to make this home, I feel like they'd be safe here forever. I'm looking for any evidence of scat, nests, feathers, or eggshells. You know, unlike most bird species, the auk went extinct before there were any scientific recordings of its call. And when you read accounts of what fishermen and scientists say it sounded like, it's a bunch of letters that go R-R-R-G-H or E-R-R-G-H or E-R-R-H. And they describe it as a coughing noise. So usually when I'm looking for a bird, I'd sit here making some kind of a verbal call, but when you read it, it's absolutely impossible to try and mimic that. 
at this cave. Oh, look at this. A cave within a sea cave, within a tiny island nation in the middle of the North Atlantic. If you were a bird scared of being rediscovered, this would be like the safest place in the world to live. But unfortunately, there's nobody home. You know, it's been an hour combing through this and there's nowhere more to look, so onto the boat and back to the next spot. We're now leaving our third island behind with no sign of the great auk. I've synchronized our timing with what would be mating season, so if they still exist here, we would see evidence. Is it possible man took every last auk from these islands? This is an ideal nesting spot for the auk, an area where a few hundred years ago, hunters would have encountered thousands of mating pairs. I'm just not seeing anything. I have to admit, I'm fairly shocked to reach our most remote spot and there's just nothing. No nests, no scat, and no eggshells. My search of the Faroe Islands has come to an end. There's no doubt in my mind that no matter how far or wide I search in the Faroe Islands, the great auk is extinct. But what I did discover here is an ecosystem in distress. We are on an island that should be absolutely rich in marine resources. But from the great auk to the cod, you know, the collapse of these keystone animals has led to just barrenness, both above and below the surface. The truth is, some extinct animals are extinct. And I think we just have to realize that, you know, this isn't, we're not chasing Bigfoot or looking for the Loch Ness Monster. These were real creatures that really did exist. But in some cases, we have successfully eradicated them.